Let's take a look at this question. With iodine, which uh, I believe can sometimes be used in medical procedures, the half-life of this particular isotope is eight days. If you start out with 10 nanograms per milliliter, how much will be present three days later? Now, since three days is less than eight days, I expect that there will be more than five, more than half, so more than five milli, uh, nanograms per milliliter remaining. Some textbooks give us the form of the exponential decay equation like this one, where it's just like with exponential growth, but K is gonna have to be negative when you have decay. Other textbooks like to always have K be positive, and so they will give you two separate formulas for population growth and population decay. If they want K to remain positive, they're gonna give this formula for population growth, but then they'll put a negative sign already in there with exponential decay. Now, <clears throat> I could put in eight for the half-life as T. And we're starting out with 10. After that half-life of eight days, we're going to have five. When you isolate the exponential part, divide both sides by 10, you're going to have one half. So in fact, that would happen regardless of whether I started with 10. If I started with 20, this would be 10. And still when I divide, I'd have one half. If I started with 37, half of that would be 18.5, but then I would divide both sides by 37 and get one half. So to solve for K, I'm gonna take the natural log of both sides I'm going to type that in, that one half, as 0.5 because there's no rounding going on. It'll cancel over here because natural log has a base of E and the exponential is base E. And then divide both sides by 8. Let's see what that comes out to be on a calculator. The natural log of one half, all of that divided by eight. So here we go. Natural log of 0 0.5 divided by eight. And notice that K is coming out negative as expected. I'm not going to round that. If I do any rounding, it'll be at the end. Now that we know what K is, I can plug that in here. Now with uh, T being 3, We started out with an initial amount of 10. Now we know that K is, oh, where to go? Negative 0 0.08664, 33976. And now that we have K, we're plugging in the three days later part. So it's going to look like that. And that can be typed in all at once. Give me a moment to get that put in there. 10 times 
e to that previous answer multiplied by three. This is how it's going to look. And pressing enter, we would have approximately 7.7 .7, uh, nanograms per milliliter remaining. Watch what it says for rounding and It'll probably tell you to not round until the end. So I didn't round what I had for K or anything else at an earlier point. But at the end, maybe that would get rounded to 7.7 .7 milligrams, uh, nanograms per milliliter. 